Welcome back YouTube. Today I will be addressing my steering wheel play. All of that before I even get to any kind of tension. Wheels don't even turn. So, I'm pretty sure it's the steering box. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to check. So, if we look down here, right down in there, there's your steering box right there. You've got four bolts there, 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 and there. Go through and then keep this cap on. This middle one is for your adjustment. But before we touch that, um, first thing we're going to do is follow it up. This steering rack here. And you can do this from the inside of your car. And grab this and do the same thing that you were doing on the inside of your car. So I'm going to be turning this and you can see my steering wheel moving. Now, by doing this and having the steering wheel move, you're going to follow it down to the steering box. Let's get some light in here. And underneath that little arm right there, I'm going to take a look at that. It should have a little bit of wiggle and that's it. If it has any more than a little bit, then that's what you need to be replacing. So, let's give this a little bit of a wiggle. So it's going to come down here, and that's the first place we're going to look. So it has just a tiny bit of wiggle, so that's not my problem. And because that's barely even moving, it's not moving anything else underneath the car that move my wheels so I know that's where it ends if you guys are having the same problem and that's moving and you're gonna have to go underneath your car and figure out which one of the the bearings and arms and what have you is uh, is gone bad that you need to replace so I need to tighten up my steering box so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a socket on the top of this and loosen it up. You can also get a wrench, but I tried a wrench and this thing was really on there and from up here it's kind of impossible to get that, uh, that torque down. So I'm going to get a socket on top of that and I'm going to break it loose. So on the inside, the Allen key is going to be a 3 16 and the nut around it is going to be a 16 millimeter. Ideally, you're going to be using a wrench, but like I said, I that thing was really on there and I couldn't get it off, especially because I think someone painted over this and made it even harder. So ideally what you're going to do is you're going to put your Allen key in, and this is going to be your, your starting point, your origin. So depending on where you put it in, if it's easier for you to put it up this way just because it's straight, then so be it. But you're going to put a wrench on there and you're going to break this nut loose. Once this nut is broken loose, while this is in, uh, sometimes it'll move a little bit. Just move it back to where it was. Make sure it's back to its original placement because you don't want to get thrown off. But these things are really finicky and they're, I guess, fragile if you want to say that. But you're going to tighten this up an eighth of a turn at a time because if you go too far, it'll screw up your steering. So we're just going to tighten this up an eighth of a turn, and then we're going to tighten the bolt, and we're going to go back and check the steering, and we're going to go back and forth until it's to where you want it. I kept the wrench on there while I tighten this up, because if you tighten or try to loosen this up, the, the bolt itself will move, and you're pretty much going in circles. So keep the wrench on there. I forgot to tell you guys that. But uh, I gave it a few eighths of a turn to the right and it started to become stiff. Now, if I check my steering, it's only got a little bit of a wiggle. When we look up at my steering wheel, I know it's hard for you guys to see because that reflection, but 
there's just a tiny bit of wiggle in my steering wheel. And down there at that little arm down there, he's still barely moving the same amount, which is good. So, it's always good to have an actual feel on the steering wheel because if you had play like I did before and it was flopping back and forth before you even got to a point to where there's tension where you're like oh that's actually gonna start moving something to move my tires now that I've gotten that tightened up that's all I've got like I've got a little bit here until I start getting that tension and then a little bit this way before I start getting that tension this is gonna be a whole lot better than having to turn the steering wheel like two inches before my car actually starts to turn. So that's a good way to check if it is actually your steering box. If this doesn't help um, and all of your joints and everything on the bottom are good, it could possibly be the box itself. Um, they do go bad. It's rare that they do go bad, so as a last resort, replace it. Um, you might want to check your actual actual steering column. There might be something wrong with that. Um, the joints up at the top, and maybe the joint down here, but it's usually the joint up top will go bad before the box does. So do that. Go ahead and tighten that back up, and enjoy your normal steering. Now just to let you guys know, this and pretty much all my other videos now have links in the description on where to get any kind of parts or anything that I'm working on. I try to get as close or better parts, um, supplies, or anything that you need. Check the description down below and I'll have links on there for pretty much everything that I use.